Well, my mind has been changed about Loras. After running a marathon of Loras as I was building the new Unified Styler, I was thoroughly proven wrong about their usefulness. A few of the guys over on the Discord suggested some Loras for me to use and chain together as I was testing the code, and I was blown away by the results. Let me show you what I mean. Here we have the new Unified Styler. Right now, you can load up to three Loras and you can specify the string for each like this. Coming in the next couple of days, this same functionality will also be available for control nets, but more on that in a sec. You can select between LoRa or none to use or not use the LoRas, and you can select this option if you want to produce two images, one using your LoRas and the other without. So let's start with this 1980s LoRa and compare the results to an image with no LoRa applied by selecting the LoRa and none option. For our prompt, let's go with realistic photo of a blonde woman on a motorcycle. Let's set our Laura strength to one and give that a go. And the results are pretty obvious. With no LLM and barely anything specified in our prompt, this Laura was able to create a perfect 1980s image here on the left and on the right is our image without the Laura applied. So let's check out this cyberpunk Laura and again we will compare it to an image with no Laura applied. Applied. We're going to keep the same prompt and the same Laura strength and see what it comes up with. And again, you can see how powerful this Flux Laura is without any advanced prompting. So let's try one more and then we will chain them all together. This is a horror Laura and it's the one that I use to make this spooky Ferrari banner image for the Halloween release of the Flow State nodes, which I think turned out pretty great. Again, we're going to keep all of our settings the same and see what we come up with. And you'll see if we apply this Laura, we get some really interesting results. Horror may not be the best match for this particular type of image, but nonetheless, you can see the strength of the Laura when compared to the image with no Laura's applied. All right, so now let's chain them up and specify our strengths for each one. First of all, let's go with the 1980s and then we'll go with the cyberpunk and finally the horror Laura. For this combination let's go with 0.6 on the 1980s Laura, 1.2 on the cyberpunk and 0.3 on the horror. So we should expect our image to be moderately 80s and pretty heavily cyberpunk with a little bit of that horror texture that we got in the flow state custom nodes github banner so let's give that a run and see what we get wow that is actually really fantastic it's exactly what i might expect to see when generating an image of a blonde haired woman on a motorcycle with a heavy cyberpunk vibe a moderate 80s vibe and just a little of that horror texture that we saw in the banner image and i think i will keep it for later. So as you can see, these Loras can be incredibly powerful on their own. And with the new Flow State Unified Styler, you can easily load them all up and chain them together for some pretty incredible effects. And that's not even to mention the use of the trigger words. A lot of Loras will have trigger words related to the theme that they're based on. So for example, if we wanted to include a few of these trigger words at the beginning of our prompt, we could say, 1980s cyberpunk horror and this should activate the Loras to produce an even more powerful result. Wow and I actually really love both of these images. On the right here we have Flux kind of giving it a bit of an 80s vibe on its own but as you can see on the left now that we have included the trigger words in our prompt it has turned the effects of these styles up to 10. As I mentioned before control net support is coming very soon 
soon and it will work in exactly the same way as the Lora's here. And soon after that, we will also be releasing support for stable diffusion Lora's and control nets as well, right in this same node, all happening in this one unified workflow. And I'm also researching ways to combine the control nets and the Lora's so that you'll be able to apply them individually and also together on the same image in this one node. For installation, it literally could not get any easier. Just copy this link right here. And in your comfy manager, you will go to install via Git URL, paste that link in and hit OK. And that is absolutely all you need to do. And when you install the nodes, you will actually get several of these LoRa's pre-installed. So there's no additional setup. You can just download the nodes and begin using these LoRa's right away. If you run into issues with any of the nodes, there is a great team of mods over on the Discord to help you out. These guys are all really talented with image and video generation, and most of them are photographers who know a ton about image composition and quality. And we're all in very different time zones, so it's highly likely that you will get the help that you need pretty much anytime. We also host a weekly themed image contest, and this week is of course horror themed for Halloween. Each week we pick a batch of winners from all of the members on the Discord, and then I showcase those images here on the channel. That way everyone in the YouTube audience can see great examples of high quality images and know exactly what they need to do to reproduce them. We also have daily streams where we work on code, test out new nodes and models, and just chat about all of the news happening in the world of AI. The streams and the Discord are both great places to chat about interesting topics and get tips for comfy, clean, mini max, and a ton of other AI tools. So be sure to check those out if you have a chance. Next up, we have a brand new video on control nets that you absolutely do not want to miss. I think this is really going to blow your mind and it's going to take your style transfer and adaptive conditioning techniques to a whole nother level. As always, you guys know the things to do to make YouTube happy. Of course, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, like the video and share it with anyone you know who might find it useful. And now I have some coding to get done so I can bring you guys these tools as quickly as possible. Hope to see you guys in the streams or the discord soon. And until next time, take care. Thank you.